Hello everyone and welcome to Monday's edition of the vlog. I have my little helper. What's your name? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. And what are we doing today? Me? Me Nick. That's your snake, isn't it? Yeah. That's your warmer. Yeah. He's being a bit silly. Yes. Yeah. No, playing. Yeah, he's playing. Yeah. Hmm. He seems to be a bit hungry today, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You might have to feed him. Mine? Yeah, maybe you should feed him. Yeah, he's very inquisitive today. It's quite hot today, so we'll go around and have a look at some of the steps today and we'll do a bit of a family one where Brooklyn helps. So I hope you enjoy the vlog and hope you're having a fantastic day. So while we're waiting for the rats to defrost today to feed Brooklyn Snake, I just wanted to ask you what your passions are because I know a lot of you love animals, love reptiles and all that sort of thing and that's why you follow me on YouTube and on the social media pages but I'd like to know what your business drive is if you wanted to work with animals and, and do filming and, and document things and research and all that sort of stuff. Let me know what you want to do because it always is good to share your passion and someone might connect with you and help you point or at least point you in the right direction. So let's start a little thread down below and just see what your passions are, what you really want to do. It doesn't have to be animal related. It could be completely something different that you don't even have anything to do with animals. So hopefully we can connect with each other and, and help each other towards our goal of doing what we absolutely love doing every single day. I know I'm almost there. I love to do a lot of business work. I love to work with animals and eventually I'd like to open up a zoo. So it's a lot of baby steps to get to that stage anyway. So let's start a little thread down below and hopefully we can connect with people and make it a lot easier for everyone to achieve their goal. Don't do my name. All right, you're going to feed your snake. Hold on tight. Ready? <laughs> Here they come. Ready? That's it. You want to take it? Good job. <laughs> See? That's it. We'll show. He's in there. He's eating. Good job. I'm going to put the lid on so he can eat his dinner. All finished. No more. We're going to feed some more. Yeah. Feed the zebra. He's a bit of a cranky one. Yep, up right in there. That's it. Pinch him tight. Ready? Pop. Oh, might need some help for this one because he, he didn't know there was food there. Wait, get your hand out, get your hand out. Got him. Mine. Yeah, we'll get the bigger one. Mine. Yeah. And you. And me. Alright, we'll feed Buddy. Buddy, Buddy, Buddy. He is always hungry. Good job, Buddy. Up we go, come on. There you go, buddy. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't get that out of mommy house. Do you like daddy having snakes? Yeah. Yeah? Not every day do you get to feed them, do you? It's pretty cool to feed snakes. Yeah. Which is which is your favourite snake? Um, mine. Your little baby one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Over there, the one we fed. Yeah. My dad on him. Oh. So when we're feeding this Zebjag, we actually have to offer him a smaller prey item, and then a, and then a larger one afterwards, just because he seems to only take a small one and then a larger one afterwards which it can be a little bit of a pain but it works so he's got that pinky rat halfway through his throat now and now he's going to take he's just taken that larger prey item so a little tip for you to offer a smaller item to get him onto the bigger item whether it be a pinky to a fuzzy or a pinky to a sub adult it seems to work really well especially with carpet pythons and say your womers and blackheads and stuff like that so we're going to see if i can show you 
how quickly a snake can get snapped into that feeding response. Now as soon as she keys in on that, so you see how she's coming out real quick now? She knows that prey item, she knows that it's there. She's hanging on. She's coming. Come over here. There we go. She knows it's there. She's moving. See how far we can get her out. That's it. She comes. She comes. Come on up. Come on, Maggie. That's it. How's that for strength? And the reward. That's it. So it's funny with these snakes because as soon as you get a smell of rodent, they're pretty much keyed on and they know what's going on to a certain degree. Now Hades already knows that there's food about. You can see that posture in how he is. And he's slowly slithering around. He's trying to key in on that food item. And you can see the difference in a carpet python compared to a black-headed python. The carpet python generally just sits there and waits, but the blackhead always seems to go all guns blazing as soon as it goes into that feed response. But a blackhead is going to be, do a lot more damage, in my opinion, than a carpet python. But if you can catch this. How quick that was. So it doesn't matter what sort of snake, except for obviously the exception of a death adder with the fastest strike rate in the world. These snakes, like the carver pythons and the blackheads, they've got a very, very fast and powerful bite. But you can always see the difference between how a carver python is more of a sit and wait, wait, wait for that last sort of minute in that feeding display there, compared to Maggie that came all the way out from an enticement because they just went, food, that's it, I'm just going to take it. All right, well, I think we'll cut the vlog here, everyone, and I hope you have a fantastic week. I've got Keg here, don't we? We've got Keg. He's a very nice little lizard. Uh, Brooklyn really likes Keg, don't you? Oh, he's climbing, look. What's he gonna do? What are you doing, Keg? He's a bit active today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I hope you enjoyed the vlog with a little help of Brooklyn. You fed a snake. And we showed off a couple of different snakes feeding as well, which the different food response was pretty cool, I think. And don't forget to drop a comment down below about your passion and what drives you to do what you want to do. Yes, darling? No, 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 she's dirty too. Yeah, that one's a bit dirty because she's going to lay some eggs. Very, very soon. Yes. Well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and have a really, really good week. Until then, I'll see you on Thursday.